or God. Be somebody. Yeah. And be something more than what you see in the mirror. Yeah. Let the world be your mirror. Don't let them judge you. Because the mirror can't judge you. You judge what you see in the mirror. What's up, YouTube? It's Tyre Knight. You tune into Ty's Life. I'm about to be reacting to uh, another another Michael Jordan video. It's called Michael Jordan Ends Goat Debate 2020. If you watch my channel, you know that um, I strongly believe that, that Jordan's the goat. Jordan's Jordan's the best player to ever touch a basketball. So um, a lot of people think it's it's Jordan. I mean, a lot of people think think it's uh, LeBron. Um, I have friends, my, my younger brother thinks it's Jordan, I mean, thinks it's uh, LeBron. And me and my brothers always have debates about it. Um, my older brother, Troy, me, my, my dad, we all think it's Jordan, but Jacob's like always like the odd one out. <laughs> my little brother, Jacob, he's, he's, he's the odd one out. He's always thinking it's, it's LeBron, but um, about to get into this video. Uh, so this is an interesting uh, title. So like, I had to click on it. Um, has a million views. It was posted like six months ago, so it should be a good video. It's only two minutes, so it's a little, quick little video. Um, yeah, just a quick reaction. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible, so hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the bell beside the subscribe button so uh, you can be notified when I post. Yeah, and let me know what videos you want me. You guys want me to react to. So yeah, let's get into the video. Hammer Jack, and that conversation is pretty much over to most people. Uh, I, I, I beg to differ, and I, yeah. I'll give a different analogy to that because, first of all, you're, you're never going to say who's the greatest of all time. To me, I think that's that's more for PR and more for selling stories and, and getting hype. Yeah, I can see that though, because like, really. We don't really know who's the greatest of all time because we we can't like in different um generations and and different like times and you can't really put a guy into a certain era and and see them play in that era like you don't know what LeBron would be in that era. You don't know what Jordan would be in this era. Like you you don't know you don't know what Ma Magic Johnson would be in this era. You don't you don't know what what um Wilt Chamberlain would have did in this era would be the same guy like the same player or kareem or all those guys you know you don't know how they would play in this era compared to other players like if they don't play against each other you really don't know who is better like you can take it from like i i i think i think i don't know but i think that jordan is better because like just based off of what I, i've i've seen from from the videos the 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 um NBA hardwood classics, watching their the games, him giving Bird sixty three, him winning six championships, doing two three peats, it's unheard of. Like, and the way he he built his team from the ground up, I feel like he's the goat. But really, with his with his his opinion and what he's saying is like, do you really know? Could you really say who's the goat? Like, you could say, um. Who who has the best team? Because the two three peats is like it's either you're winning or you're losing. And you could debate like okay if they played against this team and get played against this team would they still do that? But still like it's you still have to win games like that's hard and to do into uh, I think it was a seventy two ten like record something like that. And Warriors ended up beating it, but like the Bulls did that like. And plus, they they won that championship that year. Golden State didn't. So like you, you have the facts, but to like really know, I feel like you have more facts when it's like a whole team that you're comparing. Like if you're comparing teams, but if it's players, it's really hard for you to actually know who act who is really the the, the greatest of all time. Even though there there is there is proof that Jordan's the greatest of all time, but. Can't really put the man in in this era. You never know, <laughs> like how he would play in this era. I believe he'd be dropping forty a game, hundred percent. I believe he would be the best in the NBA right now, and and LeBron would be number two. 
that's what I truly believe. But we really don't know what how Jordan would react to certain things because um, nowadays is more of the three point shooting, and I really feel like Jordan would have been. I think he would have been better because he would have focused on his three point shot. Jordan was really like he was. He was a guy that was on his game like he really was like putting in the work like outside of the game he was just putting up shots and most of the time he like he didn't really need a three-point shot he and he knew that but if he's in this time i feel like he would work on his three-point shot and his game would be like would be exactly like kobe's because kobe like copied everything in jordan's game but kobe's had a three-point shot i think i think jordan would have did that but on a higher level because jordan was more athletic so if you put prime Jordan in this era, I believe that Jordan would would um, be averaging forty because forty something, probably forty five or something. <laughs> It'll be forty five or something. Like he would be he would be shooting threes in this time. So like it is what it is. That's what I believe. That's my prediction. If if uh, if Jordan was playing in this time in his prime, like yeah. Jack and Tiger never played against each other. They never played in the same tournament. Exactly. That's exactly what I was saying. They never played with the same, you know, length of golf course. Mm -hmm. I never played against Will Chamberlain. I never yeah, played against exactly, exactly. Andrew West. All facts. To now say that All you know, one's greater than the other is being a little bit unfair. You know? Yeah. Um, I can I see I can see that. It is unfair. It is unfair. Understand. He never this played against LeBron either. How much impact? Did each change or or evolve the game? Yeah. Jack doing his time when he mm -hmm. played, but Tiger doing his time. Yep. Now you know obviously Jack exactly more during the time he played. Tiger evolved it to where it was, you know, it crossed a lot of different boundaries where it's not just a white guy sport. You know, I feel like <laughs> the only the only sport that you can really like tell if someone's better is like track because it's just like it's. It's a, it's a faster time. Like we like you obviously can't debate that Usain Bolt is not the greatest 100 meter and 200 meter runner of all time. You can't you can't debate that because he has the world record and in his prime he has the best time until someone will beat that time. It's like you're not you're not running like you have you didn't like the guys that are, that were like um, the fastest in their time. They they probably they they haven't ran um they haven't competed with Usain Bolt but you can you can see the times it's like you compare this race and this race is the it's the times like it's just it's just the facts are there well basketball you can't really do that like it's like you can compare their numbers and stuff like that but there's a lot more that goes into it yeah Afro American you know all the minorities play the game and you play it at a level to where it generated so much interest financially mm -hmm. that yeah. it grew the game from a financial standpoint. Yeah. Now, does that constitute him being the greatest? Or does that mean he's any less than than Jack? Mm -hmm. I think it's unfair. Yeah, yeah Jack unfair. probably has he has eighteen more majors, uh, eighteen majors, and Tiger's got fourteen. And I think those are when you know that's how people are judging. The only thing is, it's like <laughs> when it comes to like hockey and stuff like that. Everybody, it's like I don't even watch hockey like that, but. Everybody says Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky is the GOAT. Like, no debate. Like, I always, I always hear it's no debate, like, from everybody. I don't know if anybody thinks Crosby is the best or they they argue Ovechkin or whatever. But everybody's like, Gretzky. <laughs> Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky is the, is the greatest. No debate. So, if you guys are hockey fans, let me know in the comments. I don't know why that is. It's like, why, why, is, it no, why is it not debatable? Why can't why can't it be like like that with Jordan? I don't I don't get it, cause like really it's hard to say if anybody's the goat. Just like and 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 it being factual, like but like I think what I like my opinion is factual that that Jordan's the greatest. But really I wouldn't know how Jordan would play against LeBron. But I don't know. But I, I would think that he would he would he would give LeBron buckets and he would dominate him but um yeah but like I don't I don't get why, why everybody's like Wade Gressy is the greatest and no 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 conversation no debate y'all let me know if y'all uh, championship 
are Russell hockey fans. Back. Does that make Bill Russell better than me and make me better than him? No, because we play at different eras. Yeah. So when you try to, I still feel like Jordan's better, a lot time. better than Bill Russell. Unfair, but then again, it's unfair. I haven't really watched Bill Russell play I, I an think, actual game. You know, I want to see his stats. Go to the so. demons that you know. Obviously, Tiger had to live with, and he's going to be challenged, and he's going to be graded upon that. Yeah, yeah. But for me, I think they're both great. I would never say one is greater than the other. Mm -hmm. That's me. That's my opinion. Okay. So that was a great video, man. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, yeah, this this should really generate some some uh, conversation in the comments. So let me know in the comments. I'm gonna try my best to um, answer back. I know. Um, with these other videos, people are commenting, and I haven't really got got the time to 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 um, start answering back. So I'm gonna try to reply to, to some of the comments. So let me know what y'all think about this video um, about the goat talk. Like, is it is it really fair to say someone's the goat even though they haven't actually played against that? Like some of the players in that era, like like eras are different. Um, people are probably would would adapt to certain eras. And it's not fair for someone to say, oh, Jordan would adapt, wouldn't adapt, would adapt to this area because he doesn't have a three-point shot. Who knows? Who Maybe he would have got a three-point shot. Like, Jordan still could shoot the three, but he just chose not to. So if he was actually shooting three in this era, what would happen? He, I feel like he would score more. That's what I feel, but we really don't know. But, um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Yeah. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Trying to get to a thousand subscribers, as I said before. Stay blessed, stay lit, and I'm out.